hello guys in this video we will run through the legal text of uh, sec of the cgsd act uh, relating to the assessment procedure the section ranges from 59 section 59 self assessment to section 66 special audit this could, video could be helpful for you for quick revision and this video is applicable uh, for may 2020 as well so without any wasting any further time we will begin i would prefer to just hear this video properly clearly so that uh, entire sections each and every entire section along with subsection could get covered uh, let's begin section 59 self assessment every registered person shall self assess the tax payable under these act and furnish a return for each tax period specified under section 69 uh, what i would do over here is not explain the concept but just uh, but just read the provision if i feel something uh, explaining like uh, dates or some i will uh, repeat that else i would just read the text you just keep on listening section 60 provisional assessment subsection 1 subjected to the provision of subsection 2 where the taxable person is unable to determine the value of the goods or the services or both or determine the tax rate applicable thereto he may request the proper officer in writing giving reasons for such a payment on the provisional basis and the proper officer shall pass such an order within the period not later than 90 days from the date of receipt of such a request allowing the payment of the tax on the provisional basis at such a rate and on such a value as may be specified by him subsection 2 the payment of the tax on the provisional basis may be allowed if the taxable person executes a bond in such a form as may be specified and with such a surety and security as the proper officer may deem fit binding the taxable person for the payment of the difference between the amount of the tax as may be finally assessed and the amount of tax provisionally assessed subsection 3 the proper officer shall within the period of not exceeding sixth month from the date of communication of any order issued under subsection 1 pass the final order uh, after taking into account such an information as he may require finalizing the assessment provided that the further period in this subsection may on sufficient cause being shown for reasons to be recorded in writing may extend by the joint commissioner or additional com additional commissioner for a further period not exceeding six months by the commissioner for such a further period not exceeding four years so from the date of provisional assessment now provisional assessment have to be passed order have to be passed within 90 days from provisional order final order have to be passed within six months which we have seen in subsection three the provision says that this six month can be further extended by six month uh, by AC or DC that uh, AC or JC that is joint commission, additional commissioner can extend this for six months and the commissioner can extend this by further six uh, further four years so total time period is uh, extend uh, uh, final order have to be passed by a max of five years that is six months plus six months plus four years subsection 4 shall be uh, the registered person shall be liable to pay the interest and uh, interest on any tax payable on the supply of goods or services or both under the provisional assessment but on but not paid on the due dates under specified uh, specified under subsection 7 of the section 39 or the rules there uh, made there under at a rate specified under subsection 1 of section 50 from the first day after the date after the due date of the payment of any tax in respect of the said supply of the goods or services or till the date of actual payment whether such a amount is paid before or after such issuance of any order for final assessment what this subsection 4 speaks that the interest payable if any provisional order have been passed and if the final order our interest uh, our tax liability increases so the tax have to interest have to be paid from the date uh, immediately after the due date till the date of payment for example if we are filing the return for the month of august 2019 so the due date is september 2000 uh, 30th uh, 20th september 2019 so interest will be calculated from 21st september till the date of payment subsection 5 speaks of refund subsection 4 is if an additional liability comes and subsection 5 where any we have paid additional and a refund would be granted to us where the registered person is entitled to refund consequent to any order of the final assessment under subsection 3 subjected to the provision of subsection 8 of section 60 of section 54 interest shall be payable on such interest shall be paid on such a refund as provided under section 56 how the interest calculation would be over here is uh, under 54 it says interest would be payable 
from 61st day from the date of application so if uh, the ssc applies for refund up till 60 day he will not receive an interest from 61st day till he received the payment uh, interest would be payable to him uh, that is he will receive the interest section 61 scrutiny of return subsection 1 the proper officer may scrutinize the return and related record furnished by the registered person to verify the correctness of the return and inform him of the discrepancy noticed if any in such a manner as may be prescribed and seek his explanation thereto subsection 2 in case of any explanation is found acceptable the registered person shall be informed accordingly and no further action is taken in this regard subsection 3 if in case no satisfactory explanation is uh furnished within period of 30 days from the uh, 30 days of being informed that is he had not issued any uh, satisfactory explanation uh, or such a further period as may be permitted by him or where the registered person after accepting the discrepancy fails to take the corrective action in his return for a month in which the discrepancy is accepted the proper officer may initiate the appropriate action including those mentioned under section 65 that is audit or 66 special audit or 67 inspection inquiry or proceed to determine the tax liability as uh, per section 73 or 74 this completes the section 61 uh, we move on to section 62 assessment of non filer subsection 1 notwithstanding anything to the contrary contained in 73 and 74 where the registered person fails to furnish any return under section 39 45 and even after service of notice under 46 the proper officer may assess the tax liability of the said person to the best of his judgment taking into account all the relevant material which is available or which he has gathered and issue any assessment order within the period of five years from the date specified under, uh, under section 44 for furnishing of an annual return for the financial year to which the tax not paid relates that is the best judgment this section is speaks of best judgment as a best judgment order so the order will be passed within five years from the date of annual return of the financial year to which the tax not paid relates subsection 2 the registered person furnishes where a registered person furnishes a valid return within the period of 30 days of the service of an assessment order under subsection 1 the said assessment order shall be deemed to have been withdrawn but the liability of the payment of interest and uh, late fees still continues shall continue section 63 assessment of unregistered person notwithstanding anything to the contrary contained in section 73 74 where a retaxable person fails to obtain the registration even though liable to do so or whose registration has been cancelled under section subsection 2 of section 29 but who was liable to pay the tax the proper officer may proceed to assess the tax liability of such a taxable person to the best of his judgment for the relevant tax period and issue an assessment order within the period of five years the same time limit as specified under section 62 that is five years from the date specified under section 44 for furnishing of the annual return for the financial year to which the tax not paid relates provided that no such assessment order shall be passed within without giving an opportunity of being heard to the uh, to that uh, person section 64 summary assessment in special cases the proper officer may on an evidence showing a tax liability of a person coming to his notice with a previous permission previous permission of the additional commissioner or the joint commissioner proceed to assess the tax liability of such a person to protect the interest of the revenue and to issue an assessment order if he has sufficient cost to believe that the delay is delay in doing so may adversely affect the interest of revenue provided that where a taxable person to whom the liability person pertains is not ascertainable and such a liability pertains to the supply of the goods the person in charge of such a goods shall be deemed to be the taxable person liable to assess the tax and liable to pay the tax or any other sum due under these section subsection 2 on the, an application made by the taxable person within the period of 30 days from the receipt of an order under subsection 1 or on his own motion if an additional commissioner the joint commissioner considers that such an order is erroneous he may withdraw such an order and follow the procedure laid down under section 73 and 74 subsection to just speaks that uh, that if any uh, order is erroneous then on an application by the taxable person or ac or jc on uh, a suo motor may withdraw the order simple section 65 audit by tax authority subsection 1 the commissioner or any other officer authorized by him by way of general or special order may undertake an audit of any registered person 
for such a period and such a frequency and in such a manner as may be prescribed subsection 2 the officer officer referred to in subsection 1 may conduct an audit at a place of the business of the registered person or his office means audit can be conducted either at the place of the business or in their offices subsection 3 the registered person shall be informed by way of notice not less than 15 working days prior to the commencement of an audit in such a manner as may be prescribed the SSC have to be informed prior to 15 days subsection 4 the audit under subsection 1 shall be completed within the period of 3 months from the date of commencement of the audit the date of commencement we will see in explanation that what is exactly the date of commencement of the audit provided further that the commissioner is satisfied that the audit in respect of such a registered person cannot be completed within the period of 3 months uh, he may uh, he may for the reasons to be recorded in writing extend the period by further period extend period by a further period not exceeding six months means three months plus six months in this period the audit report have to be uh, that is audit have to be completed audit have had to be completed have to be completed explanation for the purpose of this subsection the explanation commencement of the audit shall mean the date on which the records and the other documents called by the tax authority may be made available by the registered person or the actual initiation of an audit at the place of the business whichever is later so what is the date of commencement uh, the date of initiation of an audit or the date on which the documents were made available by the registered person to the tax authority whichever is later subsection 5 during the course of an audit the registered person may require the registered person authorized officer may require the registered person to afford him necessary facility to verify the books of accounts or other documents as he may require sub uh, 2.2 uh, to furnish such an information as he may require and render an assistance for on the for the timely completion of an audit that is he must afford him necessary facility furnish such an information and render such assistance to the authorized officer subsection 6 on conclusion of an audit the authorized officer shall within the period of 30 days inform the registered person whose records have been audited about the findings his rights liability his rights obligations and reasons for such a finding uh, within 30 days of completion of an audit the proper officer shall inform the registered excel person of all the findings which they have made while conducting the audit subsection 7 where the register where the audit conducted under subsection se, uh, subsection 1 results in detection of any tax not paid short paid or erroneous refunded input tax credit wrongly availed the proper officer may initiate section under section uh, initiate action under section 73 74 uh, section 66 special audit this is the last section of this entire chapter that is assessment procedure Section 66 Special Audit. If at any stage scrutiny of any stage of scrutiny, inquiry, investigation, or any other proceedings before him, any officer not below the rank of assistant co assistant commissioner, having regards to the nature of the complexity of the case and the nature of the, and the interest of the revenue, is of the opinion that the value have not been correctly declared or the credit availed is not within the normal limits, he may, uh, with the prior approval of the commissioner, that is who, uh, uh, an officer not below the rank of assistant commissioner may with an approval of the commissioner direct such a registered person for by the communication in writing to get his records audited uh, in uh, to get his records including books of the accounts examined and audited by the chartered accountant or the cost accountant as may be nominated by the commissioner subsection 2 the chartered accountant or the cost accountant so nominated shall within the period of 90 days submit to the report of such an audit duly signed and verified by him to the said assistant commissioner mentioning therein such another particular as may be prescribed so within 19 days they have to submit the reports this for the period of 90 days can be further extended uh, by 90 days provided that the assistant commissioner may on an application made to him in this behalf by the registered person or the uh, um, by the either the application can be made by the registered person or the chartered accountant or the cost accountant for any material and sufficient reason extend the period by further period of 90 days subsection 3 the provision of subsection 1 shall have the effect notwithstanding that the accounts of the registered person have been audited under uh, provision under other provisions of these act or any other law for the time being enforced for example the audit which we have conducted which have been conducted under section 65 or if the audit have been conducted under any other provision of the law even though that audit have been conducted this audit will be done uh, this audit will be conducted by the uh, assistant commissioner additional commissioner assistant commissioner uh, what is that assistant commissioner okay subsection 4 a registered person having uh, yeah subsection 4 the registered person shall by giving by uh, be given an opportunity of being heard in respect of any material gathered on the special audit under subsection 1 which is proposed to be used in any proceedings against him under these act or rules made there under 
this uh, uh, this subsection four is not really that important. That uh, just speaks that that uh, that that it can be used as an evidence. The material gathered can be used as an evidence. Subsection four. The expenses of an examination and the audit of the records under subsection one, including the remuneration of such and chartered accountant and cost accountant, shall be determined and paid by the commissioner and paid by the commissioner and such a and determine and such determination shall be final. Subsection six, where the special audit conducted under subsection one results in detection of any tax not paid, short paid, or erroneous refunded or input tax credit wrongly availed, the proper officer may initiate an action under section seventy three and seventy four. So with this, we complete our entire chapter of assessment, ranging from fifty fifty nine uh, section fifty nine to section sixty six. Thank you.